The diputados over here, they approved the Bitcoin law in the assembly. After that, we had some attacks of the opposition. Believe it or not, we have an opposition. And they started, you know, complaining about Bitcoin and they started mis with the misinformation to the people telling them Bitcoin was bad and, you know, you shouldn't use that currency because, you know, it's invisible. You cannot see it. They burn the ATM and everything. I don't know the exact number, but I would think around 5 million Salvadorans have been orange pilled right now. So it's very hard for them to find protesters. But they're free to do it. That's good also. Free country. They can protest. They can, you know, burn ADMs. Fine. We demonstrated that Bitcoin could do a lot of good things. In that the American Bitcoin conference, they sold some surfboards. Yeah. And they sold them $11,000, $7,000. And all that money was going to the children's hospital. But also, do you saw the, the, the pet hospital we're building? You know, our trust fund is made up of Bitcoin and dollars. So since the Bitcoin part is now worth more, so the US dollar part, you can spend something of it and build that. We start building it in the last days of October. And I asked, where are you finishing that thing? I said, 60 days, Mr. President. I said, yeah, that's fast. El Salvador is fast. So I thought, you know, when, when Alexander the Great was conquering the world, uh, they established this Alexandrius. And the whole point of the Alexandrius, they were very small pieces of land, if you would think cities at that time. But they established 20 Alexandrius all over the empire. And the, the idea was these Alexandrus not to cover the territory, which was immense, and the Alexandrus were actually very small. But the idea behind it was to these Alexandrus be like the beacons of hope for the rest of the world, that all of the world could be like that. Of course, Alexander the Great died, and the Empire divided, and you know, you know the rest of the story. But that was the idea. So I thought, you know, if you want Bitcoin to spread all over the world, we should build some Alexandrus, right? So I thought, well, we should build the first Alexandria here in El Salvador. So actually, what I was going to present to you, Bitcoin City. There you have El Salvador, you have the geothermal plant. Well, close to there. The Fonseca Gulf. And it's going to include everything. Residential areas, commercial areas, services, museums, entertainment, bars, restaurants, airport, port, rail, everything devoted to Bitcoin. So at the beginning, we will power the city with the old volcano and uh, power plant. But then we will build a new one right next to the city. And the volcano will power the whole city and will also power the mining. And in the middle, you will have a huge plaza, which is, would be from the air, you will look at it as a Bitcoin sign. So you have everything. Regulations, new economic policies, digital zones. The Fonseca Gulf is shared by Honduras, Nicaragua, and El Salvador. So this will be in an international area. The government will provide the land, the public infrastructure, the economic areas will attract investors that will contribute to the development and construction of the city. And of course, Bitcoin City is committed to free and equal access to everything. We'll have digital and tech educations and the social polycentric urban configuration, which has a small dent for the volcano there. That's the division. I will not bore you with those things, but you have social amenities, the residential, the green areas, and we're going to have industrial and office space and also everything is going to be a digital environment. Everything has been taken into consideration, recreation, electricity, water treatment, and waste management, etc. The volcano will, you know, how it works. It powers the hot water steam that powers the turbine that powers an energy generator, and then we have electricity, crypto mining, warehousing, tourism, entertainment, and culture and sports. Everything clean and coming from the volcano. In Bitcoin City, of course, it's in El Salvador, so Bitcoin is legal tender. That's nice. Not enough, probably. Probably nothing. 
that will have zero income tax. Zero capital gains tax. Zero property tax. I mean, if you're, if you're making a huge building, you don't want to pay property tax for that. Zero payroll tax. We want you to hire people, not to pay taxes to, for hiring people. Zero municipal taxes. And zero CO2 emissions. Because this is a fully, fully ecological city that works and it's energized by a volcano. So that's Bitcoin City, everybody. So you know that you will say, well, you know, that sounds nice, but who's going to pick up the trash? So the only tax that you're going to have in Bitcoin City is the value-added tax, which, you know, normal value-added tax, 10%. And that value-added tax will be used, half of it, to pay the bonds that we're going to issue to build up the city. So it's going to pay for itself. And the other half will be transferred to the municipality. So they clean up the trash, they keep the parks nice, and they keep the city all neat and clean. So that would be the only tax, the value-added tax, 10% value-added tax. So we talked with my friend Samsung from Blockstream. Yeah, Samsung, Samsung here, here. This is a very historic moment. We're going to be issuing Bitcoin bonds. Do you guys like Bitcoin bonds? And these bonds are amazing. It's going, the first one is going to be a, a billion dollar bond. And what makes it a Bitcoin bond is because it's backed by Bitcoin. So half of the billion dollars will go into buying Bitcoin. So the president is going to market by $500 million of Bitcoin. That also. Yeah. The other half will go towards infrastructure, uh, specifically building energy infrastructure and Bitcoin mining. So this is why it's going to be called the Volcano Bond. And this is going to be a series. So this first bond is called the EBB1 or El Salvador Bitcoin Bond 1. But there will be more. 35% year over year is conservative. But at the end of the 10 years, or in the 10th year of the bond, your APY will be 146%. So the coupon is 6.5% for the first five years, and then it starts getting a Bitcoin boost. And I think this product is going to be incredibly attractive, even from the traditional financial industry or bankers, because there's no instrument like this on the market. So this is going to make El Salvador the financial center of the world. It's the Singapore of Latin America, and if the U.S. continues declining, all of North and South America. So I'll just repeat Jack Mallers. We are here to change the world. We are here in El Salvador to change the world. And we are ready to die on this hill. All of us are ready to die on this hill. Bitcoin is going to save the world, and it starts here in El Salvador. So it's just not a good, a good, a cool, a nice idea. It's the evolution of humankind. So we're going there. And you can't stop evolution. But it's nicer if we are part of it. So it's nicer if we push it a little. For some reason, we're all here right now. In Misata Beach. In El Salvador. Looking into the future. Let's all be part of it. And let's all push the future even forward. Thank you, guys. Have fun. We love you, everybody. <laughs>